This video is part of a series of construction updates posted by the Metro Gold Line Foothill Extension Construction Authority to help keep you informed about the status of construction of the I-210 Gold Line Bridge and how it might impact you in the coming months. Construction on the bridge began in the summer of 2011 and is now nearing completion. The bridge is being built by Skanska USA, the design builder selected by the construction authority for the project. Once complete, this important bridge will allow connection between the existing Sierra Madre Villa Gold Line Station in the median of the I-210 freeway and the future Arcadia Station, the next stop along the Foothill Extension Light Rail Project from Pasadena to Azusa. Over the last 18 months, Skanska has completed more than 65,000 work hours on the project. They began the bridge by clearing and prepping the site. This enabled Skanska to bring in heavy machinery to construct the bridge's deep foundations. Three 110 feet deep, 11 feet diameter holes were drilled, reinforced with large steel cages, and filled with more than 400 cubic yards of concrete. 36 smaller holes were drilled, reinforced with steel, and filled with concrete for the supports at both ends of the bridge, called abutments. Above ground, Skanska cast in concrete the architectural columns which would support the decorative baskets at each end of the outrigger. Then, starting in February 2012, to support the bridge as it was built, Skanska spent approximately six weeks and nearly 20 freeway closures erecting a temporary false work made of more than two and a half million pounds of wood and steel. With this accomplished, the main work was able to begin. The following is a quick recap of the June through September construction activities. Now, during the past several months, uh, we've made a lot of progress on the bridge, as you can see behind us. Uh, this process started three, four months ago with the construction of uh, temporary formwork on the bridge. Uh, the formwork are the wooden forms that the carpenters place on top of the temporary steel structure that spans the freeway. And the formwork gives the bridge its ultimate shape, and that's what the concrete is poured into uh, to provide the architectural uh, features that you see here and the structure. The uh, bridge is cast in two uh, major pores. Uh, the first major pore is what they call the uh, soffit or the bottom of the bridge and the walls. The second major pore was the concrete deck that goes on top is the riding surface for the train. And so those are the two major pores. The first of the two major concrete pours required over 210 truckloads of concrete pouring continuously for 18 hours. The contractor had three simultaneous operations going at the same time, and so managing the logistics of that with uh, 2,200 yards of concrete through their 20-hour work period was a big challenge. Inside the concrete structure, there are steel reinforcement that we're all accustomed to seeing. There's a secondary type of reinforcement on the bridge it is called post-tensioning. With the post-tensioning of the bridge complete, the bridge is now standing on its own, making it possible to remove the temporary false work structure. For the past three weeks, we've been removing a little section every night. We've only got a five-hour window each evening between the hours of uh, 11 and 5 or 12 and 5. And uh, so the crews have to work very systematically and only do a section of the bridge that they can remove and safely restore traffic by 5 o'clock the next morning. The uh, completion of the project is scheduled for the uh, first week in December. That'll be just in time for our transfer of this project to uh, the, the follow-on alignment contractor. And so we'll be uh, completing the baskets, completing the bridge finishing, the landscaping and the lighting. Uh, and then the major task is the construction of the retaining walls, all within that uh, uh, two-month window. One of the major architectural features on this bridge are the installation of two concrete baskets at each end of the outrigger beam. Each layer of the basket, there are nine layers, each layer has seven elements to it. My name is Jeff Keenan, I'm president of Moonlight Molds. Uh, we're in uh, Gardena, California, and uh, this is our production facility. There's about 120 total parts. And of the 120, we have five different molds. Casting the part, it's a, kind of a two-step process. We have a face coat and the backup coat. So what's in that face coat are these uh, different kinds of glass. So we have the black and then uh, clear, and then we have some mirror glass that we use, which uh, they want to sparkle, give the, uh, the part to stand out and make it look unique. And then we got a uh, rebar cage, and then we got more concrete on top of that. And that gets filled in, that, you know, that overall process takes a couple hours. 
And then basically the part rests all day and all night, and in the morning we take and lift the part out. So they'll be installed surrounding the reinforcing cage that you see being installed on the end of the outrigger behind us. And that work is expected. Each basket will take uh, two, two and a half weeks to uh, complete. One of the other major tasks that we have uh, to do is the construction of uh, retaining walls. Uh, there are four walls, two at each end of the bridge. Uh, then they will be uh, backfilled with earth and then they'll provide the ramp that, that leads up to the top of the bridge. There will be over the course of the next two or three months uh, a couple or three uh, nighttime closures. And that's principally to do landscaping activities and also doing a, a little um, Finishing on the bridge, whenever form work is removed, there is typically some follow-up work that's needed to just give the bridge a nice finish. The bridge has a lot of architectural features on it. The uh, basket elements are the primary focus. And to make sure that those are highlighted appropriately, we've arranged for some uh, accent lighting to be installed, which will highlight the basket elements. And that work will be done also in about six weeks and that is one of the last activities that we do and that's really kind of the, the finishing touches if you will on presenting to the public our iconic freeway structure. Join the I-210 Gold Line Bridge page on Facebook to learn the latest information about the project or you can also view other videos and sign up to receive up-to-the-minute construction alerts to your cell phone at www.foothillextension.org or by calling the I-210 Gold Line Bridge toll-free hotline at 855 446-1160.